my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and i have not done a pick a card for you guys in a very long time so i'm going to do one today and it's what do they want to tell you okay so i'm not sure what's going to come out but we will lead with the higher self let's say so you have three piles here we have this black tumuline column here it's pile number one pile number two we got this rose quartz column here and pile number three the jade elephant which i love <laughs> right this jade elephant okay so go ahead pick your pile whatever you need to do to pick it use your pendulum whatever the color rose quartz whatever it is organize yourself and i shall begin you know let me write down the times as i go through that's gonna save me a lot of energy <laughs> okay so use that time to pick your pile all right so we start pile one at 1 30. okay pile one let's do this let's see what happens okay so if you chose black tumulin um this is your reading what do they want to tell you what would they tell you if they could if that throat chakra was working what would they tell you all right so this person that we have here um they want to work things out they want you to know that they're really sorry they're sorry for everything that happened all right what would they tell you my love can we work things out i'm really sorry what happened about what happened between us I then recognize the repercussions of my actions. I wasn't measured in my words and I'm, I'm just so sorry. I've had time to reflect on everything and I'm just so sorry. And I know it's not an excuse. I know it's not an excuse, but I didn't recognize what you meant to me until I went through trying times. until I encountered challenges. I, I didn't know, I, I know that's no excuse for how I treated you, but I didn't recognize who you were and what you meant to me at the time. But I do now, and I just wanna say sorry, and I don't know if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. Everything just seems overwhelming now. Everything just seems overwhelming. Everything in my life is a challenge and an obstacle see five five it's a child a challenge and an obstacle all this is new to me all these feelings this is all new to me and i'm feeling i'm absolutely overwhelmed i'm absolutely overwhelmed i recognize that i was a narcissist i recognize that i was only interested in my well-being and i didn't care who i hurt i didn't care i did not care and i've not cared about anyone else for a very long time because I don't care about myself. Or rather, I didn't care about myself. I don't know if you know it, but I've been running away from myself for a very long time. I've been running away from my pain. I've been running away from who I might be, who I am. I had a lot of health, um, a lot of self-hate inside. A lot of self-hate inside. But now I'm having a different perspective on life. I'm having a different perspective on what happened between us. I'm having a different perspective on this relationship. I had to go through all these trials and tribulations for me to really recognize the value of who you are and really recognize the value in myself. I know I may have come across as a narcissist. 
<laughs> but I've really been operating in self-doubt and a lack of self-love for a very long time. I have felt unworthy. I know I've been selfish, but I've felt unlovable. I've felt worthless. I've felt ugly. I've felt stupid. Since I was a child. I mean, when people tell you these things over and over again, you believe it, right? And that's all I've ever heard. So I believed it. I didn't care about myself and I couldn't care about you. I couldn't care about you. But I know that it's a soul connection now. My heart is open. I know that there's a soul connection. I've read up on Twin Flames, you know. I know. I know. And I want to tell you that. But I'm just so scared because so much has happened. I also want to tell you that I love you. I love you. My heart is open. I love you. I want to be able to say those words freely. I want to tell you that I love you. But I can't. As you know, there's a third party involved here. My heart feels torn. Uh, I'm, I'm just not ready to receive what you have to offer right now. I have to sort myself out. I have to sort myself out if I'm to give you the love that you deserve. But know that I love you. I do love you. I do love you. I, I regret everything that happened. I have hope that we can come together in the future. But I have to sort myself out. I have to sort myself out. I've had a massive a spiritual awakening. I told you, I know we are twins. 11-11. I know we are twins. I know that you're my soulmate. I know that you are the other half of my soul. I know. I know. Don't ever doubt my love for you. I know. But it is the secrets between us that's stopping me from coming towards you and the third party. I'm going through dark night of soul. I'm facing my own judgment. It's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do. And it's making me feel All this remorse I'm so sorry I'm so so sorry if it's one thing I want you to know is that I'm so sorry for everything that happened I was just disconnected from my emotions <laughs> I'm sorry guys I was just disconnected from my emotions. I didn't recognize, um, nor did I care about who I was hurting. I was just self-serving. I feel so guilty about everything that happened. Um, the guilt and the shame paralyzes me most days. That's why you haven't heard from me. I want you to know that I am in awe of you. I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of your strength. I have absolute respect for you. You bring absolute joy to my heart. I mean, you're the bright spot in my day. Thinking about you. Makes my inner child smile. I feel like a child again. And I want to be this, this trustworthy person for you. I know I destroyed your trust, but I want to be that knight. I want to be honorable. <sighs> right now, I've withdrawn from everyone, right? I'm, I'm going through my dark night. I'm facing my judgment. I've withdrawn from everyone, including the third party. I've withdrawn from everyone. 
I'm so scared that you're never going to talk to me again. I'm so scared that I can't manifest this love. So I just stay in stalker mode. It's best to love you from afar. At least from afar, I can't hurt you. Sometimes I feel desperate because I think that you might go into another connection. That you might have someone else. But you deserve the best. You deserve the best. You deserve it all. <laughs> I'm like the secret service now. Searching on the internet for you. Searching. <laughs> Looking on the streets for you. Scanning YouTube, Facebook, Instagram just for a glimpse of your face. Because without it, I, I feel empty. I, I feel absolutely empty inside. I want you to know that I'm working on myself and I'm doing that because I want to be able to love you the way you deserve to be loved because you deserve love. You are love. I want you to know that I feel trapped. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. We were supposed to be together. I just couldn't see it at the time. I'd had my walls up for so long that I didn't know how to let anyone in. I'm sorry. It wasn't you. I know I made it. I, I know that I made you think that it was you. But it wasn't you. It was me. I want to talk to you and tell you everything. I want to tell you all of this. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of your rejection. I'm afraid of your words. I'm afraid of your tears. But know that behind the scenes, I am manifesting a new beginning for, for, for us. I, I have hope that we can come back together. I have hope. Uh, have I told you I love you? Yes, I have. I want, but I want to tell you again, I love you. I love you. I was just not ready. I wasn't ready for a love like this. I never imagined that a love like this could exist outside fairy tales I want to open up to you but I'm afraid you won't love me if you saw the real me if you saw my shadow side you wouldn't love me my own mother didn't love me why would you love me if you knew the real me you wouldn't love me I enjoy watching you. I enjoy watching you stand in your power. I enjoy watching you stand in Emperor Empress energy. It really turns me on. It really does. I didn't think that I could find a love like this. I, I dreamt about a love like this when I was a child. I didn't think that it existed. I'm sorry that I deceived you. Know that... I, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about my actions. I'm, I'm haunted by them. I'm haunted by that, my actions. Oh, good Lord. My life has been so cold and lonely without you. And I guess I didn't miss the water till the well runs dry. And my heart is absolutely broken over how I treated you. I'm working on my codependency issues right now because I recognize that my lack of self-love was the root of this problem. And I want you to know it, it wasn't you. It was just easier to play mind games than to tell you the truth. Okay? Alright guys, so if you chose pile one, this was your message. We got so much I'm sorry's. We got the I love you's. This person knows that you are their twin or their soulmate. They know. It's just that they're afraid to come forward because of what happened in the past. Okay? All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this reading, please press the like button. <laughs> 
or make a comment even if it's a smiley face because it really helps the channel it kind of you know plays around with youtube's algorithms okay all right guys and if you want me to look into your personal situation i have a list of readings in the description box you can check me out there all right guys take care bye hey guys if you picked pile two which is the rose quartz column this is your reading okay so what would they tell you if they could all right let's go into this i'm going to use my all the decks i'm going to be using for this reading are mine that i designed and information about purchasing them um is in the description box okay all right so pile two. Oh my goodness let me write down what time we start pile two let's see about 14 45 yeah all right cool so pile two let me just give us a quick shuffle What would they tell you if they go? My love, being apart from you has given me a different perspective on things. A different perspective on life, a different perspective on our connection. I, I was just being so judgmental before. Um, you, didn't, you didn't fit my boxes. You didn't take my boxes. <laughs> no. We have so much differences different philosophies about life um different philosophies about what love should be everything was so you're just so different right but i want you to know that i'm going through i'm going through a, a massive transformation i am saying death to my old self i, I can't s remain the same person that I was because it no longer matches with my truth. This perspective that I've now gained on life has caused this transformation. I can't stay where I am. I can't. I, can't. I have to align with my truth. I no longer want to be the same person that I was. I can't. I can't be the same person that I was right i can't that's no longer my truth i don't want to be that playboy anymore that playgirl inconsistent in and out of your life i want to come in and i want to offer you commitment i want to be solid as a rock for you i want to honor this soul contract between us so right now what i want to know more than anything else is can we work things out can we work things out yes i know i said that i needed space i know that i know i withdrew from the connection but what i really want to know is can we work things out do you think you can find it in your heart to forgive me because right now i know that you're the one yeah i know that you're the one i know that you're my soulmate okay I thought there were many more. There were much more fish in the sea. I thought the grass is green on the other side, but it ain't. It's not. I know our spiritual beliefs are so different. I know our philosophies on life are so different. But I think we can coexist. There's a, a an innate harmony between us, even though we're different. There's an innate harmony between us. You know, and I've been a prisoner of my own thoughts for a very long time. I felt trapped. I felt like if I can't move, but destiny is calling me. You are my destiny. I know this. You are my destiny. And I want to answer. I want to answer. Because you're my other half. Yin Yang, that's you and I. Sun, moon day and night this is who we are we're the lovers we're the lovers and this distance between us is just killing me i can't deal with it i don't know how you feel that's half of the reason why i'm not coming forward but i just can't deal with this distance between us i miss talking to you i miss holding you 
I miss teasing you. I want to talk to you. I'm just waiting for the right time to be transparent. I, I have to really pluck up my courage, you see. <sighs> my soulmate. My other half. My mirror. My life partner. I want to talk to you so bad. I want to tell you everything. Everything. I want to explain what happened. I want to tell you everything that has happened um, since we have been apart. But there's a third party involved here. I have to sort myself out. I've had a massive spiritual awakening. And this is what has given me hope for the future. When I think about you and I think about this situation... bloody hell oh that's not part of his message okay bloody hell is not part of it <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> when i think about you and i think about the situation i i, I just feel so numb i'm just going through the motions here with this third party i'm just going through the motions and I just have so much regrets. And my biggest regret is that I'm so codependent. That I can't be independent like you. I can't be independent like you. Part of me feels kind of relieved, actually. Part of me is relieved that we aren't together. Do you know why? Because I couldn't bear for you to see my shadow side. I couldn't bear for you to see my other self because you may not like who I am. That's my biggest fear. Your rejection. I feel so worthless. I, I'm unworthy of you. You're, you're better off without me. So I'm just going to settle for being numb right now. I have so much negative thoughts flying around in my head about this whole situation, about you. I feel so purposeless. I feel so lost. I feel embarrassed. I feel embarrassed by everything that happened. And you know what? You, your need for vengeance it's warranted. I, I was an ass. I was a real ass. I, I'm going to own up to that. I was a total ass. I just don't think I have the strength to start over. I don't think... I've, I've gone through so much. This whole situation, you, this third party. I don't even know if I have the strength to start over. So I'm just going to stalk you. I'm going to satisfy myself with just stalking you. I just feel bitter about everything, about how everything turned out. I just think it's so unfair that I finally found the love of my life and I can't be with them. It makes me really angry. When I think about the manipulation, when I think about the lies that were told about you. But I can only blame myself. Thinking about you motivates me though. I do have hope. It motivates me to be a better person. I'm inspired by you. I was a people pleaser. I cared about what everybody thought about me. Everybody except the one. That showed me the most kindness. You. I feel, so, I feel impatient. I feel like time is running out. I feel like if I don't do something soon, somebody's going to come and just snap you up. I just want to escape from where I am. 
I just want to come towards you. But I feel powerless. I feel trapped. I just want to be free. Free to love you. Free to be with you. Free to be myself. I feel so hopeless. Sometimes I feel like being so aggressive. I'm just getting so impatient with everything that's happening. I'm on the defense with everyone. Everyone is affected. Because I'm just so angry all the time. I'm angry at myself. I'm angry at the situation. I'm angry at you. Won't you leave me? Why did you leave me? We were so happy. And I'm so sorry I messed it up. I want you to know that even though I'm angry that you left, even though I wish I could have my cake and eat it too, watching you stand in your power turns me on. It turned me on then and it turns me on now. I've never seen anyone do that. You have my utmost respect. I'm sorry for all the hateful things that I said. I was just afraid to lose you. I was afraid to love. I'm having a massive tower moment. Everything is falling apart all around me. I want you to know that no matter how things may seem, no matter what you may see on social media, you are the other half of my soul. And like day and night, we're different, but we complement each other. I want you to know that you are my earth angel. You inspire me to be a better version of myself. I've never allowed myself to feel like this about anyone. Ever. I just need to work on myself. Just know that I see you as my future partner, but I just need to work on myself. I need to work on loving myself so that I can love you the way you deserve to be loved. My life has been so cold and lonely without you in it. I feel so trapped. It wasn't supposed to be like this. We were supposed to be together. I want to tell you my truth. I want, I want to gift you with it. You deserve it. I want you to know that I haven't given up on this connection and I haven't given up on you. I'll never give up on you. I'm getting ready to fight for this connection. I just need to sort myself out. I need to sort my situation out. I will be back to bring justice and balance to the situation. I want you to know that. And I want you to know that I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for everything that happened. I, I'm sorry for everything that I said. It wasn't you. It was me. Okay. So pile two. These were your messages. I hope that they resonated. Um, if you like this video and you want more videos from me in the future, please press the like button and make a little comment. You can put a smiley face. And if you want me to look into your own situation, um you can hit me up in my email okay you'll see the list of readings in the description box and if you want information on how to purchase any of my decks um it's there as well all right pal two take care bye hey pal three if you chose my little elephant <laughs> um this is your reading i'm really interested if the stalker mode card comes out because it has come out in the two readings previously all right, so we're going to look out for that. If the stalker mode card comes out, that will be very interesting, okay? All right, so pal three, what will they tell you if they could?
Oh, wow, well, yeah. man. What were they? I'll just give one little shuffle here. All right, this sounds like somebody who's in a third party right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, somebody's relieved. Why are they relieved? We're going to put the card here and we'll see why. <laughs> All righty. What do they have to tell you? My love, I am relieved. <laughs> Why do you relieve that? Oh, we're finally going into union. That's why they are relieved. My love, I'm relieved <laughs> that we're finally going into union. I've been wishing that I could be with you and it seems like it's possible. That's where my mind is on right now. Manifesting this union with you. Because you're my shining star. And you give me so much hope for the future. I'm relieved that you have been my shining star. Um, you've been this light in the darkness. Helping with, with my healing. You've given me so much hope. About life and about love. I want to come and honor the soul contract between us. I want to come in and bring commitment. I want union. Because I know this is an eternal love. It's not just from this lifetime. This is an eternal love. You're my empress. You're my emperor. I know that I'm always with you. You're never alone. Even though you may feel alone. Know that I'm always with you. I want you to know that I love you. I love you. Every inch of you, I love you. I wish I could shout from the rooftops. I wish I could tell you I love you, but I can't. And that makes me feel dead inside. I just feel a void, this ache in my heart, that I'm not free to love you. I trust you, though. In fact, you're one of the only persons that I trust. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry that I broke your trust. I'm sorry I was just such an ass. I don't know if you'll be able to find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. But know that I know that this is a soul connection. And I'm not letting you go. I'm getting ready to fight for this connection. To defend this connection from all those naysayers who interfered in our business. There are drastic changes happening in my life right now. Good ones too. Because I'm finally addressing my codependencies. My devil energy. My toxic relationships. My inner demons. I'm facing them. Because I'm getting ready to take a leap of faith.